that. Cole. Shade! Sister. Look at this. You're even worse than Klaus. Cole, finally. Did you bring what I asked for? You must be Shane. Cole and Rebecca Michelson, two members of the original vampire family. This is such a trip. Where's the cure? Compulsion won't work. It's a little trick I picked up in Tibet. Right, well, we'll just have to do this the old fashioned way. Beat him until he tells you where to find it. beauty of this. You can have it. I just want Silas. No! <laughs> what do you know about Silas? He's the world's first immortal being, who just happens to be imprisoned with the cure. And I want to free him. No! Stop! He's dead. Did you not hear what he said? Silas will kill us all, sister. Silas does not exist. He is a, a fairy tale made up to scare children into eating their vegetables. Silas is very real. I know where he's buried. And soon I'll have a spell that wakes him. Wait a second, you're lying. You can't get to him. Without his tombstone? Dozens to die in a blood sacrifice? Believe me, I know. I've done it. Those massacres are a pain to engineer. You're the one who got the council blown up. It was a noble sacrifice. And temporary. Because once I raise Silas, Silas will raise the dead. He will bring back every last soul who died on his behalf. No! You should be thanking me. You killed my only chance of finding the cure. Silas on the loose would be hell on Earth. And frankly, sister, I don't think you can handle it. How did you get that? Way too easily. Looks like we're gonna have to find some new vampires. What a waste. What the hell happened? I confess, I did it. Cool. Jeremy, good to see you, mate. Sorry about the mess. Uh, it was a little crowded when I arrived, and I prefer more intimate gatherings. And we three need to have a little chat. Care for a drink? He's underage, and I don't like you. So let's just cut to it. You know, my brother bragged about his plan to complete Jeremy's Hunter's Mark. It's easy enough to track this lot down. They're all hiding in the shadows. You know, killing young vampires is easy. Or old ones for that matter. Why? What's it to you either way? Because you fools in your zeal to find a cure, you risk waking someone very dangerous. Oh. You must be talking about Silas. What do you know of him? Nothing, don't want to, not our problem. Isn't it? Uh -uh. A few hundred years back, I came across a group that worshiped Silas. His followers told me that he would rise again and when he did, he would trigger the end of all time. You know, being an immortal, you can see why I'm opposed to time's ending. So I murdered all of them. And now, here you are, willing to risk raising him in your search for the cure. I can't exactly sit back and let that happen, can I? We're not gonna back off the cure because you were told one too many scary bedtime stories, you idiot. Jeremy, <sighs> we were mates in Colorado. You're a smart lad. Why don't you call off this imbecilic treasure hunt? I'm not calling anything off, mate. Well, I could kill you. But then I have to deal with the hunter's curse. And I... I don't particularly feel like being haunted for the next century. Better idea. I'll just rip off your arms. Jeremy, run! It'll 
brother. Just two days home, and I'm told you've already gone and made a mess. Come on, Nick. I was only having some fun. Those vampires were for my hunter. I'll make some more. There's no shortage of people. Where's Damon Salvatore? I gave him a good and proper beating, just for old time's sake. Yes, well, you've had your fun. Now let him go and come home. Avoid any more trouble, or you'll find yourself back in a box. Hey, no need to be nasty about it. On the contrary, I find nastiness to be essential whenever my siblings try to sabotage me. Listen closely, Cole. Stay away from the Gilbert boy. You understand? Fine. I won't touch him. You have my word. Very good, darling. Now stab yourself a little bit further. Kill me. Do it like a man. I don't want to kill you. I just want to make sure you can be compelled. I'm gonna rip out your spleen. You ought to be thanking me. I mean, you don't really want the cure found. You fancy Elena. I mean, even more now that she's a vampire. Admit it. The last vestige of her humanity is her annoying little brother, Jeremy. And deep, deep down, I bet you want him dead, don't you? Nope. You're lying. Ah. I bet you'd love to rip his head right off. And I'm gonna give you your wish. You're not gonna remember what I say. But you're going to find Jeremy Gilbert. And when you do, you're going to kill him. Jeremy Gilbert. Nice to see I'm still on your speed dial, mate. Hey, you want to meet up in the batting cages in Denver? Actually, it's Elena Gilbert. What a treat. Yeah, I was just thinking of all the clever ways I could have your brother killed. But let's settle for ripping off his illustrated arm instead. I need to talk to you. In person. I want to call a truce in the name of Silas. You want to talk about Silas? I'll meet you wherever you want. I'll come to you. Tell you what. How about I come to you? If you want a truce, open the door and invite me in. I'm waiting. Let me in and let's talk truce. Hello? Wouldn't I be kind of stupid to invite you in? On the contrary, I can't kill your brother with my own two hands, or I'll suffer the hunter's curse. I'll spend the next 20 years trying to off myself in gruesome ways. And I've heard that Vervain's back in town, so I can't compel you to kill him either. So I think it's fair to say you're semi-safe for now. I'm the only one that can invite him inside. He's right, obviously. You think being alive for over a thousand years would teach me some manners, but I, I couldn't resist stopping by. If I let you in, my brother goes. You're not getting near him. Fair enough. You could come in. No gold medals for bravery, I see. You know, the thing I love about the modern age is music, anytime you like. So, this is the part where you offer me a drink, so we can have a proper chat. Sorry, I had to dig up the old people alcohol. Yeah, that's the problem with people today. They have no drinking imagination. Turn of the century, New Orleans. Now they knew how to make a drink. They lived in New Orleans? We all did. So the Klaus shoved a dagger in my heart. Why? What did you do? What makes you think I did anything? Has your alliance with my brother softened you to his horrors? I don't have an alliance with Klaus. We had a mutual interest in finding the cure. That's all. Hand? Yes. 
And I'm willing to give up looking for it if you promise to leave my brother alone. Oh, can you teach me how to make this? Get some ice. Would you like one? Sure, why not? You're really good at that game. Especially considering you've been locked up in a coffin for a hundred years. I'm a quick learner. Speedy reflexes. It's not much like the real thing, though, is it? You've killed, haven't you? Or are you one of those Mary Sue vampires? I've killed once. Guessing your number's a lot higher than mine. You lose track over the years. So, are we going to talk about Silas or just jibber jabber? No one else seems to think Silas exists. So, why do you? I used to run with some witches in Africa in the 14th century, Haiti in the 17th century, New Orleans in the 1900s. They all knew about Silas, that he needed to stay buried. I actually hold witches in high esteem. Yeah, but why Silas? Why are you so afraid of him? They said if Silas rises, he'll unleash hell on Earth. I happen to like Earth just the way it is. It's pretty biblical. Well, that's the other problem with people today. They've lost faith. And in that loss, they no longer know who they should fear. So we're out of gin, but I think this is a good year. What if I said I don't believe you? Okay, you caught me. I don't know anything about wine. It just seems odd that you'd be so willing to give up something you want so much. I would do anything for my brother. And if what you're saying about Silas is true, what does it matter what I want if it puts everyone else in danger? Well, this has been enlightening. Thanks for the drinks. I'll take your request for a truce under advisement. Is there any chance that you could be wrong about Silas? Trust me, Elena. Some things are better left buried. I've considered your request for a truce. Request denied. I'm sorry. I've already been invited in! Hide and seek? Fine by me. Well, if it isn't the happy homicidal maniac. Do you know that your darling former blood bag and her brother are trying to kill me? What? Don't pretend like you're not in on it. Your obsession to find a cure clearly trumps any sibling loyalty you once felt. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to rip off Jeremy's arm and kill Elena just for sport. Then I'm coming for you. Missed. <laughs> 
about that arm. Now, like I said, I don't fancy the hunter's curse, so I'm just gonna chop off your arm. But don't worry, I'll heal you right up with a bit of blood after. Sorry about the sting. Which, which arm is it? Is it left or right? I'll just chop off both to be safe. <laughs>